stretchered into hospital, the next episode in the apparent unravelling of Britney Spears' life. It all began last night after police and medical staff were called to her home in Beverly Hills. Three hours later, she was carried out before the ever-present paparazzi and cameras. She was, said a police spokesman, under the influence of an unnamed substance and had apparently been refusing to return her two young sons to her ex-husband, Kevin Federline. He has custody. She has limited visiting rights. Under a police escort, she was taken to hospital where reports say doctors are evaluating her mental state. One of her sons is said to be with her. It is bizarre, sad and, according to some, far from surprising. She seems to be without any boundaries or any kind of good sense in her decision making. Her third lawyer has now quit and said, I, basically, I can't work with her. Um, she doesn't show up to film her music videos. She's not been able to support her most recent album in terms of performances or concert tours. <laughs> It's easy to forget Britney Spears has sold 80 million records. Her recent headlines have included losing custody of her children, drink driving, drug problems, shaving her head, failed visits to rehab. And now the latest pictures. The singer who millions of young girls wanted to be apparently restrained in the back of an ambulance. This new year looks to be every bit as troubling as the last for Britney Spears.